in here is what we are having <laughs> plus some cabbage and guess what we are going to cook this together i want to show you how to cook this together there was a time i think we cooked um did we ever cook waffles i don't think so so guys these are goat's waffles and we're going to do it together with some cabbage um welcome back before we start guys this is Eunice and this is actually prime so we are going to have a, a cooking session together as usual <laughs> straight away guys let me just cut this very fast but if you're new and you're not subscribed please make it a point you subscribe to the channel uh, share the videos the links and give me a like on this very video here plus any other that is yet to come so guys, I'm just going to cut this into pieces. This thing needs thorough washing. I hope you know that. So we'll do that later on. But let's just cut this very fast and get straight to cooking. So I'll just wash this and of course wash it twice because this thing needs thorough washing. Yeah? So let me first wash this and change the water before I put it on fire. This will be for boiling the offals. These are good offals in case you didn't know. Let me know how you cook yours because for me I first boil it with some salt. And that is just what I'm going to do here. There we go. So that by the time I start frying, it will actually be ready. And remember cabbage does not take long on fire so by the time i'm adding the cabbage it means it's almost it's actually ready i should say not just almost ready i'll do in some salt meanwhile my chicken has hatched you guys finally i think you can have a look but see how it hatched with a lot of charcoal and everything around it. <laughs> can see the chicks, yeah? So, anyone who wants chicken, tell me your location. i send you some. <laughs> so, I think I'll be cutting the cabbages as I wait for the offals to get ready on the other side. And then for this one, I don't prefer them very tiny, like the cabbage should not be very tiny. So I cut them a bit medium. So guys, this looks like it's actually enough. So I'm just going to preserve this for another day. Let me put it aside. This will do for today. And here we are guys. It's actually boiling already. So we're going to wait until that water drains to zero. So let's just leave it there to boil until it's ready, properly ready.
Here is the ginger and the garlic mixed. I'm going to add it into it for it to boil with it. But I think you notice how the soup is actually reducing. So guys, as you can notice, the soup is almost done and this is a clear indication that it is actually ready. If you can remember the amount of water we added at start, so frying is almost taking place. <laughs> Let me just add in some oil here before we can, but remember we're going to add in cabbage, so I might need a little more oil than I always do. I'm going to add three of this. All right. This is totally ready. Only waiting for the mixture of the cabbage. Let's wait for the soup to drain to zero. Then I can add in the onions. So I think you notice the soup is totally drained and we have some oil there because I dropped in some oil. So I'm going to do the onion straight onto that. I'm going to give it some few minutes. right here it's time for tomatoes and i'm choosing to put much tomatoes i hope you've noticed because we're bringing in the cabbage later on so if you put little the cabbage will swallow it well and it feels like you fried food without tomatoes actually that's the reason for the much tomatoes and remember i'm not adding in a lot of things it is just that so let's give it time to get ready so guys, it is actually time to add the cabbage. As you can see, the tomatoes are ready. See the juice from the tomatoes? That's the beauty when it comes to adding much tomatoes. That was the reason I told you. So let's do the cabbages. I know most of you only eat cabbage as a salad. Please let me know if you have ever cooked cabbage and mixed it with something like this. Hmm? If you have never, please try it out and let me know if you like it in the comment section, of course. Um, and if you have like mixed it with something else, what was that? I also want to try it your way. Please let me know in the comment section. As for me, ooh, have a look. You see the beauty? It's really nice, honestly. I can feel it. For eating the portion. Another thing, the, the cabbage does not have to get totally ready. So you leave it a bit crunchy. And ooh, that is just going to be enough. Let's do this! <laughs> I can't wait to eat already. You know it. Wow. This looks really nice already. Let's see how the sauce looks like. Right away, let me just put it down so I can mingle the portion. Wow, look at this! Wow, look at this! And here we are. <laughs> 
our food is actually ready so how about i just wash my hands already because i love this This sauce is super, super appetizing. Just have a look at this. If I serve some here, you see. Mm -hmm. Wow, the crunchy cabbage, the offals, the soup. The, ooh, very nice. All right, there we go. Well, I want to try the meat first. The offals first. And you know it's hot, eh? But me, I'm a die hard. <laughs> mm. When it's cooling, as I eat this one. <laughs> Before I just continue with my food, please, if you know you're sub not subscribed, please do the needful. Subscribe already and join the family. Come and we eat. <laughs> mm. 